We're going to be back. We are back with episode three, I think, of our Rate Your Squads, right? So send your squads in to the Rate My Squad channel in the Discord, okay? And we'll go through this. Now, lads, right, with a team like this, there's no real point in me reviewing this because these are all godly players. I mean, this is a Division 1 easy, on a conveyor belt, Division 1 squad. And there's obviously, you know, big time players left, right and centre, man, right? So I can't really compare this. I would say that the best thing to do with this go with this is to probably update Casillas if you don't manual goalkeeping. If you don't manual goalkeeping in this squad, get rid of Casillas because the way that the gameplay has kind of changed. Trent is hit and miss for me. I would probably go with a... I would go with maybe Tommy Yasu if you have him. I don't know what subs you have. But listen, I mean, you, if you can't win with this team, I would definitely change from possession game. Possession game will not suit this squad because you're so horny up front there. And also you've got, you know, Maldini and Marquinhos uh, who are not destroyers as far as I'm aware. So I would say that these are pretty... This is a pretty, pretty solid team. If I was to rate that, I would probably rate that... I mean, it's it's a it's an unbelievable squad. You've got Gavi and Matthaus in midfield. You've got Marquinhos and Maldini, who I bo who I love. Saviola, Romanegi, and Neymar. If you're not shooting with Neymar, I would probably get rid of him and use him as a wide option and use LBC and go through the middle. Bring Gavi in a little bit out um, central. Move Gavi in central and put this guy out left, like how I'm playing the Abbey. So in my current squad that I have here. This is where I would go with that. I would put Neymar out left where the Abbey is to be able to cut in. But that's only if you don't shoot with Neymar. If you shoot with Neymar, you can go with that route, okay? So next up, we have uh, JBean45. So again, this is the traditional 3-5-2. You've got your three center backs, Akanji Kim, and you've also got Timber, Barrios, Kimmich, Nakunku, Nuno Mendes, and Nabri. Um, interesting that you're playing Nuno Mendes, obviously, one for the headers into Dennis Law with the crosses from Nuno Mendes. I would probably look to upgrade that with Alex Grimaldo if you have him, or else I would probably look to upgrade it with a more defensive option that can go into the middle a little bit as well with this squad, because Kimmich as an orchestrator is going to be a... Listen, I know people would probably say Kimmich is an absolute beast defensively and attacking, but I would definitely swap him out for a box-to-box -box with this formation as a 3-5-2. You will notice a difference. Might notice it every game, but you will notice it over the course of 10 games. I don't really rate Nabry too highly either. Um, I would probably look to upgrade that. But yeah, I would definitely either put in a box-to-box -box or else I would put in um, an upgrade on Gnabry there. But that's just my opinion. Uh, these are the subs. So yeah, I mean, pretty much the same. Uh, let me see with this one, if I can make sense of this. So we're playing a 3-5-2 again. Um, kind of like a little curve in midfield. Oyarzabal and James, nice, very unique, very different playing possession. I mean, depends what you want to play and win, because if you want to win, you're not going to be playing possession. I'm, I'm sure that you still can, but if you want to go and make a launch on Division 1, you do have to kind of switch it up a bit. I would also swap Marquinhos and Nesta. I would have Nesta for his pace out wide with Mar uh, Araujo. Um, James, I would probably put Araujo uh, in the other side. Nesta in the middle and then Marquinhos there because the left foot if you wanted to switch balls across but that depends on your play style Messi Ronaldo up front two goats Bellingham Real Madrid pack is pretty decent Declan Rice and Pedri it's a solid team it's a solid team man it's a solid team uh let me see this one Steven so again this is a 5-2-3 this is very similar to the formation I used to play before way back in Romario, Neymar, Mbappe. Again, I don't really rate Mbappe out wide, but it depends your play style. And again, a lot of people using Kimmich. Mataus is there. I would definitely go anchorman with this. Um, and I would put, push Nuno Mendes and Cancelo up. I think the only reason you need to play, if you're playing five at the back currently with the gameplay, you must be leaking a lot of goals because it doesn't offer you anything less if you're playing a 3-5-2. If you're playing a 3-5-2 and you're average to good at defending because the game is so easy to defend, um, just play an anchorman with deep line. Like, look, if I go over to my squad here, every game that I'm going to play, in, if I'm playing a three at the back here, right, if I move Grimaldo up here and Kondogbia comes back here and I have a three-man uh, defensive option because Kondogbia can play with a, with a, a left uh, center back, I'm going to use the tactics. I'm just going to go individual instructions and I'm going to go defensive on my DMF here if you're playing three at the back. And I'm also going to go 
deep line on my DMF, right? So that means that Kondogbia is going to be sitting back as part of a back three, but he's like a, a fourth man CB when you don't have the ball. So instead of playing that, now unless you're dominating games and you just hold the, the point, um, you don't really need to do it. Uh, you don't really need to do it. Three at the back, if you're a fairly good player, unless you're getting like, unless you're getting a lot of aerial balls into you and you don't have, like Alaba is a bit of a weak link here if it's a high ball, but the majority of players are going to play through the middle. So you might lose one game or two games and get smashed by somebody, but over the course of a division, if you want to get up, it's a fairly solid, um, a fairly solid team. Next up, we've got Scrim. Again, I mean, this is a godly team. There's no real review to need it on this one. I mean, Saviola, Rivaldo, Eto up front, Mataus, Vieira, Rijkaard, Maldini, Marquinhos, Timber, Berta Carlos. I mean, is this for a review or is it just showing off how good your squad is? Because this is a sick squad. Big time Marquinhos. Timber, probably one of the best players in the game. Maldini, who I love. Carlos, who I love. Really solid in the midfield. Saviola and Eto'o, speed merchants up front. Not, I mean, there's nothing to, to... I can't really advise anything to do like this, man. There's nothing really I can uh, advise on it. And last one that we will do today is Strap. Um, or Starp, who has Diaby left wing. I would have loved that Diaby as well, actually. He looks like a monster. Um, I do like the Diaby I have. Reinaldo. Van Dijk, I would definitely get rid of Van Dijk, man. If you're a Liverpool fan, fair enough, but I would definitely upgrade Van Dijk, and I would probably upgrade Thiago as well. I like Mbappe when he's central, but he wouldn't be my favourite. Uh, Kessie in midfield is good. Skriniar is good. I would get rid... I would probably put Reinaldo in, in where Van Dijk is, and I would probably put uh, a, a, a better left midfielder because you've got serious advantage there by having Kessie on that side. I would shore up the right side of midfield. Um, with Thiago, I'd probably take him off. But it's a solid team. I like this team. I actually do like this team. And this would be a team that would be hard to break down, except for Van Dijk. Get rid of Van Dijk. He's really bad since the last patch, man, in my opinion. So yeah, we will be back with some more Rate My Squads. That is it for episode three. Um, but keep sending the squads in on the Discord in the description below, and uh, we'll talk to you in a bit.